Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here. Welcome back to turn 17 of Arkham Horror, the Dunwich Horror. The game that would never end. Right. Okay, who's first? Well, William's first. Then it'll be Agnes, then it'll be Daisy, and then we'll pop right up here to Monterey Jack. Now, why is the Dice Tower on the board? Dice Tower's on the board because I made a balls up last turn. If you remember, there was an encounter with William Yorick where he had a chance to take a Doom token off Yog, but he didn't have a Clue token. And then I went on for about two minutes complaining about my how, how unfortunate it was, etc., so on and so forth. Well, he did have a Clue token because he can spend monster trophies as Clue tokens. So I'm going to wind it back. Sod it. So he is going to have another go. And he's going to spend his Serpent Person. So that'll go back in the bag. He's blessed. So we've got to get a success. We've got to get a 4, 5 or 6. He can only spend one clue token, I believe. Let's dig out the... Yep. It just says here that you can only spend one clue token. So he gets one go at it. So we need a 4, 5 or 6. Come on, Will. A four. Yes, we've done it. Right, so we're going to take that Doom token off. So Yog is back to ten, which is great, because that gives us a bit of leeway. I'll quickly go through the plans before we go to the upkeep phase. The game has now dangled a carrot in front of us. There are two things we can do. We can sort of hang around, try and get some clues and hope to take it on in the final battle. The only problems with that, as Log and A Pirate have pointed out, uh, Yog is a will check final battle. Will and Fight are on exactly the same slider. So in order to pass, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to move our will up which will put our fight down. It's got a minus five combat modifier, which means we're just basically in a bit of trouble. Additionally, there was something I didn't know about, which is one of uh, Yogg's battle cards, apparently, says everybody loses a gate trophy. So anybody who's got one is going to end up getting devoured anyway. So really, it's, it's a long shot, the final battle. So the other thing we can do when you get a carrot dangled in front of you is basically you can grab hold of it, stick it in your gob and run off with it. And guess what? That's what we're going to do. With Daisy and Monterey, they can both get into a gate this turn. That's what they're going to do. Uh, the graveyard and either the Devil's Hop Yard or Gardener's Place. They've both got enough clues to seal that gate. Assuming that we get three or four turns, we seal two gates. Now, what are we gonna do after that? We need, we still need a gate sealing. Well, if we give the patrol wagon to William, William can get up to the curiosity shop with everybody's money. So Agnes and Daisy will do a bit more trading in the movement phase. He gets to the curiosity shop and we use a finger of power a couple of turns and hope to hell that we get a elder sign we've only had one we've used that much of the deck so hopefully there's a good chance in the next say six cards that we manage to snaffle one William will have the patrol wagon as soon as he snaffles one immediately that he can he will go to the unnameable say in the patrol wagon and zoom into that gate and we will try and win it on sealed gates. So that's the plan. Let's get straight on to the upkeep phase. And here we are with our first player, who's William Yorick. <clears throat> In fact, I've had another idea. But first of all, let's just roll for his blessing. Four, that's fine, he keeps his blessing, which is great. 
the other idea I've just had, which um, came from Logan a Pirate actually, um, I was just talking there about sending him to the curiosity shop with all the money to try and get an elder sign. Well, he doesn't have to. He's got one monster trophy, which is one clue. So if we can cast Law Monster with Agnes and Daisy, we can get those two maniacs in the Merchant District streets to South Church. William's the first player. He kills him with a shotgun. Fortunately, he doesn't even have to do any horror check. He's blessed. Kills him. That will put him up to three of these. So that would be cool. Then what we do is next turn, he we kill the cultist. We do law monster again, drag a, a cultist in. That will put him up to four. And then the turn after that, we can drag, oh, I don't know. We'll probably have some more monsters on the board by then and we can pick one. So we might do it that way. The only problem is, oh, we're just short, aren't we? Because Daisy's going to go through the graveyard gate, I think. So she won't be able to cast Law Monster while she's in another world. Um, I'll have a think about that. We may end up going to Curiosity Shop after all. Right, anyway. Okie dokie. So he's rolled for his blessing. We're not going to change anything. And we're not going to do any trade until the movement phase. So everything looks pretty funky. Let's move across to Agnes Baker. And here's Agnes. She doesn't have to roll for a blessing because she only got it last turn. So we do have um, a turn's grace on that. So what's she going to do? Uh, she's not going to cast Law Monster. Forget that. We're not going to do that. Um, if we could get him up to five monster trophies, we'd have done it. Because then he could have used them to seal a gate. But as it is, believe it. We'll go back to our original plan. Now, what's Agnes going to do? Agnes is going to stay here. She is going to use one of her gate trophies. Although that would be excellent for Yog. As mentioned, I don't think we're going to like be able to defeat him anyway. So let's just go for it, ma'am. She's going to use one of those. She's going to bless Daisy, which will hopefully help us seal a gate and help us get her through another world without losing her precious sanity so that's it for agnes next is daisy walker here's daisy and her ton of stuff as usual alchemical process let's refresh it then let's do eight dice two three four five six seven eight And we get a few successes there, a couple of successes, which means she gets $3. So, plenty of money to go to the curiosity shop with once we've done a bit of trading. As I said, we're not going to do Law Monster. I was thinking of it, but we won't be able to get him to five monster trophies, unfortunately. So, I think he'll have a better chance in the curiosity shop. What's Daisy going to do? Daisy's going to go up to the graveyard. She needs four speed which she's got during the trading phase in movement she'll get the silver key off william and that will allow her to dodge the cultist and get into the graveyard we do need her to get in there and get to another world as quickly as possible so that's pretty funky um doing all that will mean that the ancient tome obviously we can't read it because we'll be using all of her movement points other than that, pretty groovy. Yep, yeah, that's it. We'll get rid of some of this during the trading phase. So, next up is Monterey Jack. And here we are with Monty. Monty's going through a gate. Um, devil's Hop Yard, why not? Um, um, yep, yeah, he'll go through there. I think it's the nearest. Pop through there. Some guarded. And hopefully he'll be able to use his six clue tokens to seal the gate eventually. And that's what he's going to do. He's got enough speed, more than enough speed to get there. And that's pretty funky. And he's blessed. Very similar to Agnes. It's his first 
um, turn with it so we do not have to roll for it. Right, let's crack on with the movement phase. And here we are at the South Church Social. Before William goes anywhere, we're going to have some trading. The patrol wagon and sealing the beast power is going to go to him. He is going to give the silver key to Daisy. He will need the patrol wagon. Good. Daisy is also going to give him seven dollars which leaves her with two so he now has what does he have now he has thirteen dollars now just in case agnes is also going to give him four dollars which leaves her with two so one two three four and that one there so he'll have seventeen dollars altogether to go shopping with. Don't think there's anything else that we need to swap over. No, that is it. So the main things are the silver key has gone to Daisy and she has given him the patrol wagon and he's now got $17. Now he's actually going to move and he's gonna use the patrol wagon. So he's gonna go all the way up to the curiosity shop. That is William's movement. Next is Agnes Baker. She is not moving anywhere. So I'll tell you what, what we'll do. Still the movement phase. We are going to give her the ancient tome that Daisy's got, which is exhausted to spend two movement points to make a law minus one check. So that's what she's going to do. She's now got the ancient tome. She's not moving anywhere. She's got four speed. So why shouldn't she have a go? And she's blessed, which is really good. She has six law, which means da, 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 she'll get five blessed dice. And she gets three successes. So the ancient tome has been read. Exhaust and spend two movement points to make a law minus one check. If you pass, draw one spell and discard ancient tome. So we draw a spell. Let's have a look. Let's put it in there. Can we see it? And the spell that she gets is... I don't think we've got find gate. But that would have been nice. We've got shriveling. Casting modifier minus one. Sanity cost one magical spell any phase cast an exhaust again plus six to combat checks unfortunately this wouldn't work on yog even though it's combat checks it counts as magical unfortunately otherwise that'd have been pretty funky but she'll keep that might be good for killing things like the yithian for example oh and i'll tell you what we have members of the book club any time either you or your partner, in this case it's William Yorick, attempts to use a tome, the other may immediately attempt to use the same tome, even if it has been exhausted or discarded. Right, William's going to have a go. His law's four, so he's going to get three blessed dice. Why not? Let's go for it. And he gets two successes, so that's excellent. Right, so that's another. But this one is for William. And he gets the voice of Ra. Casting modifier minus one. Sanity cost one. Upkeep. You may cast an exhaust to gain plus one to all skill checks for the rest of the turn. Brilliant. So if he does get in a position to close a gate, he'll definitely be casting this. So he's got Voice of Ra, that's cool, and the Ancient Tome, that gets, gets discarded, so we'll put that back there. So that was a pretty funky use of the old Tome. Uh, I don't think Agnes is going to do anything else. Is she going to lure Monster? Oh no, she has to do that in upkeep, doesn't she? So forget that. 
cross. Du, 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 du. No, there's nothing else. So that is it for her movement phase. Next, it's Daisy Walker. So we'll have to move this out of the way. And let's have a look at her movement. I'll just rearrange the camera so we can I see it. I think we'll just about get to see it. So she's got four movements. So that's one to South Side, two to French Hill, three to River Town, and then she's going to try and get into the graveyard. She has to avoid and evade the cultist. But in order to do that, she's going to use a silver key. So we're going to put another stamina marker on it from the supply. So it's now been used twice. It's got one more use left. And she gets into the graveyard. So let's see the Great Hall of Celiano, a minus one gate. So that's cool. Right, so we'll leave her there for the time being. That's it for her movement. So next up is Monterey Jack. And here we are with Monterey. Forget all that cobblers about him moving to Gardener's Place or Devil's Hop Yard. Because he was delayed, wasn't he? Do. Fortunately, I just remembered. So he's actually staying at Bishop's Brook Bridge. He's not going anywhere. So he... I should have had him, you know, stood up, but now he's laid down properly. So he will be able to move next turn, but it uh, just means we've lost some tempo. I forgot about him being delayed. So that's a bit of a bummer. So he's just going to have to have another encounter here at Bishop's Brook Bridge. Okay, so I think that is it for the movement phase. So next up is the Arkham encounter phase. Here we are with William, and yes, we need we need some finger of power. We could really do with an elder sign. As I say, we've got rid of quite a chunk, but there's still a few in here. So let's pull three out and see what we get. An enchanted knife. Nope. Come on. For the greater good. Oh, Ooh, hang on. Let's read this. You are devoured. The investigators, including you, win the game. Oh, you've got to get to Abyss, Yugoth, Dreamland, Relay. Useless. We haven't got time for that. Come on. Oh, Dragon's Eye. Exhaust and lose one sanity after drawing a gate or location card to draw a new card in its place. Mm. No. Right, what we're going to buy, we're going to buy for the greater good. Not because we're going to use it, but because it only costs $3 is the reason we're going to have that. So, pays in five, gets two back. We're now on $14. Uh, what a pain. We really could have done with an elder sign there. But, um, well... We'll, start, we'll be able to have a go next turn. At least getting that Doom token off. It give us a chance. And if we don't get one after six draws, well, you just don't get one, do you? That's just, uh, that's just the way it goes, man. So we'll put that in his player tray. Next is Agnes Baker, who's still down at South Church. Here's Agnes, and she's going to spend one of her three gate trophies. The Dreamlands, because it's a plus one. That'll go to the bottom of the stack. And she is going to bless Daisy, who's the only one who isn't blessed at the moment. So Daisy is now blessed, which should be pretty good. Okay, that's it for Agnes. And speaking of Daisy, let's go and visit her. Here's Daisy. She gets sucked through the gate. So she is now in the Great Hall of Celiano, which is just here. After Daisy, it is Monterey Jack. And here we are with Monty. So he's going to have an encounter at Bishopsbrook Bridge, which is the Village Commons deck. Hopefully get something funky. Bishop's Brook Bridge. Make a look minus two check. I think his luck's still on five. Let me just check that. 
It is. Does he get any benefits to that? Well, he is blessed. He's just been blessed, so he is going to have, what was it, minus two? Yeah, minus two, so he's going to get three blessed dice. And he gets two successes. Woohoo! So, what does that mean? If you pass, you find someone's rail pass on the ground near the bridge. Gain one rail pass card. If you fail, you find one dollar instead. Oh, this is a nice little uh, encounter to make sure that you can get the train home, isn't it? But he's got a rail pass. That's a Dunwich special card. So I'll dig one of those out and we can have a look at it. There it is. The rail pass. So you do not have to pay one dollar to travel between towns. So that's pretty funky for Monty. Put that with his deputy of Arkham. Oh, deputy of Arkham. I forgot to give him a dollar again. I'm just going to give him a dollar now. He's up to four dollars. Every upkeep, he gets a dollar because he's deputy of Arkham and I forgot. But I'm getting better. At least now I'm remembering during the turn as opposed to at the end of the turn. Right. So that is it for Monty. So next up, it's the Otherworld Encounter phase and Daisy Walker. And here we are with Daisy. So blue or green. So let's have a look. Well, that's red. So we discard that. Blue or green. Oh, we've got a green. We've got the Dreamlands. Oh, Celiano. We've got Celiano. You come across a wizened old creature who debates with you for some time. If you pass a law minus one check. Law minus one. She is five, so she gets four blessed dice. What do we get? <laughs> Three successes, let's have a gander. What's she get? Uh, if you pass a law minus one check, the creature is amused by your discussion and you are blessed. <laughs> We're already blessed. Oh, well, at least something bad didn't happen. Bloody hell. the other turn as well didn't it with bloody was it William he could have been blessed after, just after he had been blessed oh well but like I say at least nothing bad happened so but something bad may happen now because that's the end of the other world encounter phase and now we have the mythos phase And here we are in sunny Arkham and Dunwich. Come on, come on, surge, or better still, on a sealed gate. Gardener's place, yes, second best. We've got a surge, so that's four monsters. Yes. Right, so first monster has got to go on Gardener's place. And we get, ooh, serpent person. That's not too bad. Do, 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 do. Magical resistance and it's elusive. All oh, right, well, that can, could be a bit of a pain. Right, well, that's going to Gardener's Place. Next one will go in Arkham, so we shall pick the graveyard. Let's see what Daisy's going to come out to. She comes out to a bloody wraith. Well, hopefully that'll move. Back up to Dunwich and Devil's Hop Yard. What's this going to be? Oh, I like Lygors. I hate Lygors. Weapon immunity as well. Well, you know what? I don't think Monty will be going through the Devil's Hop Yard gate, do you? Instead of moving, all investigators in this or any adjacent locations lose one sanity and one stamina. It's a bit of a beast as well. Right, well, that... Don't think we're going to go through Devil's Hop Yard. 
Right, and the last one is going to go to the unnameable. That's right, isn't it? I've only got four open gates. Yeah, four investigators. Yeah, it's only four. And last one is... What's this? Oh, not the wizard Waitley again. What a pain he's been. Magical immunity. If you pass a combat check, return him to the box and draw one spell. Oh, that was it. He went on... Um, we closed the gate, didn't we? That's why I had to put him back in the bag. We didn't beat him on a combat check. Well, he's a bit of a git as well. And he's guarding the unnameable. Oh, right. Okay, won't be a second. I'm just going to put them all on stands and whatnot. Right, okay, there we go. Um, we're up to seven in Arkham. Seven monsters. We've got no monster stands left, but fortunately we don't have any in the outskirts, so we're okay on the terror track just for the time being. And we've got the two monsters now in Dunwich. Um, I definitely think Monterey is going to have to take on the serpent monster. Or Agnes or... Agnes might. Oh no, we want her to move to St Mary's Hospital. He should be able to take on the serpent person, shouldn't he? Yeah, he'll take on the serpent person. So that shouldn't be too bad for him actually getting in the gate next turn. At least he hasn't been delayed like he was last turn. Right. Um, what else have we got? Clue, Cold Spring Glen. Right, oh, that's got two clues on it now. Funky. And... Da, 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 da. What else have we got here? Um, monster movement. Squares, diamonds and circles. Squares. We don't have any. Oh, yes, we do. The Loigor. The Loigor zooms off, but there's nobody in adjacent locations or anything, so that's fine. So that's a square. Have we got any diamonds? No. We do have a circle, which is the Wizard Waitley. He's going to move to a rather congested merchant district. So let's put him in there. Let's put a few people in. Right, so he's in the merchant district, which is good, because if we do get an Elder Sign, it means we can use the patrol wagon and completely bypass him. So that's the monster movement. Good travelling conditions, environment, weather. So this will take place, take the place of sunny and clear. Fight checks in Arkham are made at a minus one penalty. Arr! That'll mess about with us having to close gates. Uh, speed checks in Arkham are made at plus one bonus. Now, now, right at the end of the game, when William's got a bloody patrol wagon, and investigators receive one extra movement point. Now, the end of the game, after we've read all our tomes, uh, monsters that move normally move like fast monsters. That doesn't apply to the Wizard Waitley. He's just moved, but he moved before we read this top bit. So he moved normally. It wasn't good travelling conditions when he moved. It was still just sunny and clear. So... That's pretty cool, I think. Yep, yeah, I think we've done that right. And that's it. So this will take the place of Sunny and Clear. So let's take this out of here. Discard this one. Put this in its place. There we go. Oh, I forgot about Sunny and Clear. We didn't do any sneak checks and we didn't do any will checks, did we? So it didn't really affect us. Right, um, that turn. Okay, well, brilliant turn. Getting that surge, fantastic. I'm not too ecstatic about the LIGO, but I think we're all right. I think we're still on plan. We've still got two turns, in. well, at least two turns, I think. Uh, hopefully we'll get another surge, or better still, we'll get some on one of these where we don't have to um, pull any monsters at all. So we really need, we need, we need that Elder Sign. Um, so we've done pretty well there. Um, Pity Monty was delayed, but he's not next turn. So hopefully he'll be able to get defeat that Serpent person and get into the gate. So what we're going to do next turn, Agnes is going to be first. She could do Law Monster, but I think he can take the Serpent person on. 
let's get her to St Mary's Hospital and we'll get her stamina up I think she'll pay her two dollars and then she can go around killing some of these monsters which are getting a bit out of hand I think or she can use Law Monster from St Mary's Hospital yeah we might do that right uh, Daisy Walker Daisy Walker is just going to go into the second half of the Great Hall of Celiano hopefully she'll be able to come out shortly and seal that gate Monterey as mentioned got a big gardener's place I don't think he can take the Loigor on he can take the um, serpent person on and get into that gate at gardener's place we'll do that then it will be William William's just going to stay in the curiosity shop and hopefully hopefully get an elder sign we've really got we've only found one and we've really like cycled through we're really getting through the deck now so hopefully we will get one so we'll just have to give it a go and keep trying man um, good thing is the wizard Waitley moved so if we do get an elder sign he can use his patrol wagon get to the unnameable whizzing that gate because it's not guarded right so that's it for turn 17 of arkham horror the dunwich horror thanks very much for watching thanks very much for all the subscriptions and all the views and all the comments and all the tips very much appreciated I hope you join me next time for turn 18, but until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo!